Wondering how the child tax credit has changed? I'm gonna break down how it's changed and what you can expect as far as monthly payments as advances on your child tax credit starting in July of 2021. So I'm going to jump right in. My name is Greg Acton and I read the stimulus bill for you so you don't have to and you can watch this quick video and understand everything that you need to with the child tax credit because I'm a nerd and I will read stimulus packages because it's money, it's finance. I'm a CPA and I love that stuff. So let's jump right in. Make sure to watch this video to the very end because I have a bunch of tips on how you can keep the most amount of money in your pocket during the year and some tax strategies that will really help you out. Tax credits reduce your taxes dollar for dollar where tax deductions actually reduce the amount of income that you are taxed on. So tax credits are the holy grail of reducing your taxes. The federal government gives child tax credits because they expect you to spend money on your kid, which every parent does. I myself bought a motorcycle for my children. Yes, that is a flex because I love my children. I think they're awesome, especially on motorcycles. So let's jump into a side-by-side -side comparison. 2021 up here, 2020 over here. So in 2020, child tax credit was $2,000. In 2021, it jumps up to $3,000. Unless your kid is five or younger, then it is $3,600. So that is a huge increase in child tax credit, which means more money in your pocket. Another huge difference is in 2021, 17 year olds actually still qualify for the child tax credit, where in 2020 they did not. All right, now this is the part that gets a little bit complicated. In 2020, there was an income threshold of $200,000 if you're filing single and $400,000 if you're filing married filing jointly. If you make under that amount, you get the full $2,000 child tax credit. Now, that same threshold also goes to 2021, but there is additional thresholds for receiving the additional amount. So, you know, it jumps from 2000 to 3000. So to get that extra 3000, you actually have to have taxable income of $75,000 or less as a single filer or $150,000 or less as married filing jointly. So if you are a single filer, if you make $95,000 or more, it'll revert to the $2,000 child tax credit until you reach $200,000 or more, and then it phases out again. But if you make less, like if you make $80,000, then you'll receive a reduced amount. Now, if you make $75,000 or less, you'll receive the full $3,000 or $3,600, depending on the age of your child. Now for married filing jointly, that income threshold is 170. So if you make above 170, then you will just revert to the $2,000 child tax credit. If you make less than that, you will receive a portion of it. Now, if you make less than $150,000, then you'll receive the full 3,000 or 3,600. Now I know that part can be crazy. So if you need to rewind and watch that again, go for it. Or if you just have questions, you would rather just hit me up in the comment section. I'd love to answer them for you. All right, another big difference is in 2021, the child tax credit is fully refundable, where in 2020, it was only partially refundable. Now, what I mean by refundable is if you have taxes, say you have taxes of $4,000, but I have a child tax credit of $6,000, that's gonna reduce my taxes, that $4,000 to zero. Now I have $2,000 left over in that child tax credit and the government will actually send that to me. So now it's fully refundable, where in 2020, it was only partially refundable. It is my mission to help as many people as possible understand taxes, be better with their money, and make smart money choices. So please subscribe and share this with a friend. Now let's jump back to the child tax credit. All right, now the part you've been looking forward to, the advance payments, meaning you're gonna get money throughout the year for this child tax credit. Now this starts in July of 2021, and you can receive half of the total child tax credit that you'll be able to claim on your 2021 taxes. So for example, if you can claim $6,000, meaning you have two children and they are six or older, then that $6,000, you can receive $3,000 throughout the year starting in July. Now you're gonna receive that on a monthly basis, so $3,000 over six months, meaning you would get $500 each month. If you wanna be able to determine your own advance payment of this child tax credit, add up the entire child tax credit that you're going to be able to claim in 2021 taxes, split that in half, because that's what they're gonna pay out throughout the year, and then divide that by six, and there is your monthly payment. Just remember that the age of the child can affect the amount of the child tax credit, Five and younger is 3,600, six and older is 3,000. 
All right, now let's break down a few pro tips that I have for you. Say you had a child in 2020 and you have not filed your 2020 taxes yet. It may be a good thing to do because the IRS right now does not know that you have a child. And so they are going to assume your child tax credit off of your 2019 taxes. And so that means your advance payment is going to be off of how many children that you had in 2019. So if you had a kid during 2020, you may want to file your taxes because then you're gonna be able to get a higher amount in your advance payment because then the IRS will know that you had a child. All right, you may be wondering, well, what if I had one in 2021 or I'm going to have one in 2021? So the IRS is actually gonna set up a website where you can go in and actually import that information, give their your child's name, social security number, and link them to you. And then that way they can pull that in and give that to you in your advance payment. Or you could just not tell them that you'll still get the full benefit you just may not get it in advance payments but when you file your 21 2021 taxes in early 2022 you will receive the full child tax credit now another few things that you may want to consider if in 2019 you had high income so much so that it would have excluded you from getting the additional child tax credit but then in 2020 your income reduced below a threshold, you may wanna file your taxes because then you will qualify for this and be able to receive advance payments. Now, just like stimulus checks, these advance payments for a child tax credit are going to be sent out via direct deposit. So be careful about changing banks throughout the year because any bank that you have on file with the IRS, that's where it's going to get sent to. So if you file your taxes, later close that account and open up a different one, well then you may not be getting your advance payments and so you would have to wait until you fire your taxes to get that child tax credit. All right, another pro tip as far as tax planning goes, if you do not have enough taxable income to fully utilize this child tax credit, it's refundable, so you will get it. But I'm saying like, say you have child tax credit of $10,000 and last year you had taxes of $5,000, you may want to go to your work and switch your withholdings to not have any taxes withheld because you would just end up getting a giant refund. And to me, I would much rather have money in my pocket right now. So look at your 2020 taxes. And if you think your income is gonna stay pretty much the same in 2021, if your child tax credit is more than the whole tax that you paid in 2020, go to your boss and say, hey, I wanna change my withholdings and I want no federal income tax withheld because then you're not just gonna lend the government money that they can hold on to all year. You're gonna be able to keep that in your pocket. You can go invest, you can pay down debt. You can use that money so much better than the government can. And so save yourself that money, put it in your pocket right now by changing your withholdings. If you found this information useful, hit that like button. It helps the algorithm know that this should be sent out to as many people as possible. I'd like to reach as many people as possible. If you have any additional questions on the child tax credit, hit me up in the comment section. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.